My name is not important, but you may call me Desmond. I was trained to secretly serve the government of my country. This nation has always been governed in an absolutist manner by an institution called the Ministry. The Ministry, on the verge of joining the European Union, ordered to erase all traces of its terrible activities, including the facts of Oak Grove and the sinister experiments of Dr. Llewellyn. My orders were to enter Oak Grove, once there, to retrieve certain documents. The logbook of the guard of the grove, in the office of his wooden house. Official ministry documents in the laboratory of Llewellyn Manor, located on the other side of the lake. The dossiers of the secret experiments that were carried out there, in the office of the experimental hospital. Once the material was recovered, the only way to escape from that place was the Karen staircase, a secret passage that only Llewellyn knew how to access. The next night at 10 p.m., I went through the gate at Oak Grove. Seconds later, the gate closed behind me definitively. What I found there, it is something the world needs to know about. I am Agent Codename Desmond. This is my story. The sound of that old worn door seemed to warn me that it was waiting for me that night. My coat could not protect me from the cold wind, and the obstinate silence turned the forest into a desolate place. Could anyone still live there? Those who were confined to Oak Grove almost 40 years ago would surely be dead. There it was, the majestic Llewellyn Manor in the middle of the lake. For a moment, a gust of cold wind gently pushed me to the other shore, drawing me towards the mansion. But not yet. I had to investigate the forest first. This must have been the guard's house, in front of the wharf, watching over the secrets. In the darkness, what was once the guard's house now seemed abandoned and forgotten. gave off a strong, musty smell, and its creaks suggested ancient secrets that had not yet been told.
kitchen was clean, as if someone had used it recently. The wind blew across the windowsills, uttering soft sobs. That room was different. It was clean and well kept. It looked like a children's room. The atmosphere was warm and the temperature suggested that someone had been there recently. Someone who probably still lives in the house. This is probably where the guard slept. Where was he now? Would he still be alive?
The night was dark, and a dense fog had invaded the entire landscape. I could feel the dampness in my bones. Suddenly, an ivory reflection caught my attention. There, lying on the ground, were the remains of the one who, one day, was Seth, the guard. A sinuous path stretched out in front of me, leading into the darkness and fog. As I crossed the old gate, a fatuous reflection warned me of the presence of an old cemetery. Lichen-covered graves, scratched by wind and rain, seemed to be mixed with gravestones that had yet to bear the wounds of time.
the time had come to cross the lake and enter the mysterious Llewellyn Manor. As I entered the manor, a shudder ran through my body. Not because of its sinister atmosphere, but because of its impeccable appearance. It seemed empty, and yet everything looked as if it was still inhabited. After the cold of the night, the cozy atmosphere of that magnificent house was gratifying. It was obvious that the house had not been neglected. Was Llewellyn still living there? Who was keeping it in perfect condition?
immediately, the remnants of a subtle scent of perfume invaded my senses, revealing to me the image of the elegant woman who had long ago occupied the room.